This forecast is powered by Kensington Furniture. Two acres of selections, 106 years of local experience. Hey, good afternoon, South Jersey. Welcome to your lunchtime forecast. I'm Nor'easter Nick. So yesterday at this point, we were all outside. Like I was literally in my gym shorts running through the neighborhood because it was beautiful out there. Today, we got a little more in terms of cloud cover. It's gonna be windier. And, well, we don't have that bright, brilliant sunshine, even though I do think we will see a period of partly sunny skies this afternoon, depending on your location. 58 down in Washington, 68 for Atlanta, 70 down in New Orleans, 73 in Jacksonville, Florida. Nice area. I actually have a timeshare south. Of Jacksonville, by the way. Look at that colder air to the north and west. Chicago, Omaha, 25 in Minneapolis, 40 in Oklahoma City. That's the air that's going to begin to filter down into our region by tonight and tomorrow, and especially by Friday and Saturday. We're going to start to see those numbers come way down. 53 right now in Hamilton, 54 for Mays Landing, 52 in Millville, 51 in Cherry Hill, and a pair of fives. Double nickels down in Cape May. Had some rain a little bit earlier on. A couple scattered showers, not that big a deal. Didn't really amount to much. Cold front comes through. Actually, before the day is done, I think we're going to see some sunshine. Come, uh, cold front comes all the way through. Northwest winds still on the windy side. We have that wind advisory in effect, and that means that gusts could exceed 35 or 40 miles an hour. High pressure in control of the nation's midsection. And then look at this. All right, This is actually going to be one of the ingredients to the storm that is likely going to eye up our area by Sunday. I'm thinking heavy rain is a definite, but some models are indicating it could get cold enough, perhaps the development of a coastal low. That's absolutely key. If you get that in the right position, we could absolutely be talking a little snow around our neck of the woods. Still very early on, plenty of time for us to watch it, and we will update you as conditions and variables change. 58 today, morning clouds are starting to try to thin out at least. A couple showers out there, but we are going to see some afternoon clearing. South winds are definitely going to pick up. Already gusting to 20, 25 miles an hour. Then later on, you're going to start to see these reds come in. Gust to 35 or 40. If it's trash day in your neighborhood, you might want to think about, you know, tying down those uh, trash cans. 40 mile an hour gust possible by tomorrow morning. If you're heading up to the Thanksgiving Day Parade in either New York or Philadelphia, bundle up. Even though I'm expecting temperatures in the upper 40s or lower 50s, it's going to feel much colder because you're going to have that wind just rushing across your face. It's all about layers, layers, layers. I don't think it's too big an issue for New York. The wind has to come through at just the right angle to really be an issue. Believe it or not, those large buildings do help block out some of that wind. But regardless, it is still going to be a rather turbulent Thursday morning. 41 tonight, clear skies, cold and blustery for sure. And then tomorrow, we're sunny, we're cold, we're windy. Wind chills as we wake up in the 20s and 30s. If you're going Black Friday shopping on your Thursday night, you wouldn't catch me doing that. Like I did it years ago when you'd actually take a nap after dinner and then go out. Black Friday's already started, it feels like. Temperatures in the lower 30s overnight, a north factor of just a two because I like to be comfortable. Seven day forecast. There's that rain or snow chance on Sunday. We're going to work those details out for you through the day and into tomorrow as well. Then we are just colder after that storm departs well below average.